Hi everyone, it's Michael from the Hollywood Pantages Theater here with the lovely and amazing Jackie Burns. How are you? I'm so good, thank you. Thanks so much for being here. So, you have played Alphaba more than any actress on Broadway. Yes. What is that like? Uh, a dream come true. <laughs> Very succinct. <laughs> it's a dream come true. <laughs> and we have reached the 15th anniversary of Wicked, which is phenomenal. Yes. What, what does that mean to you? To be a part of a show that has been running for 15 years and that is still as strong with the audience as it was the day it opened and be a part of that fabric is is everything to me. And how did you get the theater bug? What like what inspired you to join the community? Shirley Temple. I loved Shirley Temple was movies. Was it the tap dance? I love Shirley. Yes, <laughs> I love Shirley Temple movies so much. And Fred Astaire and Michael Jackson. Those things. My dad and mom told me I used to dance on the fireplace to Thriller Michael Jackson when I was three years old. And I have been annoying them and singing in the car and in the shower and at the dinner table ever since. Well, I think they're okay with it now. <laughs> yeah. You know, things turned out pretty well for you. Totally. <laughs> so... These are questions from our fans, so thank you guys for sending in your questions. Uh, first question is, what is your favorite song to sing in the show? Oh, God. I always get asked that, and it's so hard because it changes all the time. It depends on my mood. If I'm really mad, like I said, no good deed is my jam. If I'm feeling very lovely and sweet, I love a wizard and I. If I've had a sad day, I'm not that girl is good. Define gravity, I mean, it's always going to be awesome because you're an <laughs> levitator. Come on. <laughs> Next question is, if you could play any part, male or female, in the show, who would it be? Oh, God, that is so hard. <laughs> uh, I mean, obviously, who doesn't want to play Glinda? Crowns, crowns, and tiaras, and bubble and dresses, and come on. Also, though, who doesn't want to play a goat? That's very true. That's a great, <laughs> great point. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm in. He's in. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. <laughs> what is your favorite moment in the show? I know there's so many beautiful moments oh, that Wicked has, but what is yours? Well, if the Glinda's made me very angry, Kara, the slap. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. I love all of the moments in the show. Honestly, I, I, it's, hmm, God. Defying Gravity is always epic. That The second you start flying, it's like, what? This is so crazy. Um, so maybe that. That's great. I mean, even as an audience member, I get chills. Even though I know it's happening every time, every but time every time you're like, just like, oh, <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. that's so amazing. <laughs> what is the most exciting part about playing Alphaba for you? Um, getting to take the journey that she does, you know, and starting off as an outsider and, and ending the show knowing who you are and coming to full completion of the human being, you know, that you become, which is such a beautiful thing. And and to play this outsider, I think every single human being has felt at some point in their life where they don't belong or they're unsure of w what to do. And, and, uh, and to play that character that is now celebrated and, and is just one it's amazing yeah and we've all had that i'm not that guy i'm not that girl moment yes, you know everybody it, it turns out person. fine in the end you guys it'll be great Every you know person. just Even believe tom hanks and julia roberts have had a, yes. a an i'm not that girl i'm not that guy <laughs> moment so. so how long does it take to greenify and then ungreenify yourself it takes about a half hour to get green i don't do it somebody does it for me because i wouldn't know what to do and it takes <laughs> about 10 minutes to get ungreen i take a shower and oh then I go God. home and I shower again. Do you just find, you know, bits and pieces of green water all the time? Everywhere. Everywhere. You can't have anything nice. <laughs> and I wear baseball hats 24-7, so that way, like, you know, you can't see my green hairline. Yeah, and no white. Uh, no, no white. No, no, no white. you don't yeah. wear white, no. no. <laughs> my sheets are all a hot mess. And last but not least, it's a tough question, but I know you have some advice to give. What advice do you have for the aspiring actors and actresses out there? Oh, this is such a great question. Um... Something that I've always said to every person that I've met is that nobody can be you. No one can do you. Nobody can be you. No one can be me. We all have our own authentic brand to bring to the table. And no one person is going to sing Defying Gravity the same, any better, or any worse. Art is subjective. You're going to be somebody's favorite, so you're going to be somebody's least favorite. So all you can do is be true to yourself. And as long as you're true to yourself, then your art is going to succeed, you know? Um, so, yeah. And have other interests other than, so that way when you do get told no, because you will get told no, I get told no all the time, it's not as devastating because you can then, you know, you have your friends to go to a movie or, you know, you go go to yoga or go skateboarding, whatever other outside interests make you happy. 
you need to have that you need to have that kind of dichotomy in your life or it gets overwhelming absolutely yeah well thank you so much for joining yes. us i really appreciate it yes. you guys wicked is here until january 27th here at the hollywood pantages theater come see us come see jackie yes. be amazing and we're so excited to have you thank welcome you. <laughs>